Hey guys, not so here. Hope you guys are enjoying the F-15 Strike Eagle as much as I am uh, now that it's releasing out in the wild. Uh, I know you guys are uh, hopefully enjoying it. There's, uh, it's obviously still a work in progress, so please bear with us as uh, we work out some of the bugs. And uh, you guys are going to really enjoy the next patch that's coming up. It fixes a lot of things. It doesn't fix everything, so just don't assume it's going to be perfect after this next patch, but uh, they're working hard on it, uh, trying to get a, a good product for you. In the meantime, uh, I wanted to, to do a series of short little clips, tutorials, whatever you want to call them, on uh, some air-to-ground TTPs. Uh, there's been a bunch of questions that have come up in the Discord uh, help chat that we've got set up now. And uh, one of the ones was, how do I get the uh, target pod uh, quickly on a target of opportunity uh, if I am flying around and I don't have a pre-planned target and I see something on the ground and uh, I want to get the uh, target pod on and hopefully kill them pretty quickly. So I've set up a little scenario where uh, we're basically just trolling along looking for stuff on a uh, normal uh, no-fly zone kind of patrol uh, prior to OIF or even post-OIF. And uh, the Eagle Eye Wizzo sees, uh, sees something down on the ground. So he goes, holy shit, hey, I see some vehicles or something down on the ground. Uh, I'd like to get the target pot on it and uh, see what they are. So there's a few different ways to do it, some better than others, but uh, I'll kind of walk you through kind of the hierarchy. So one, the Wizzo could just take the pot and try to slew over to it. So if you look, vehicles that I'm looking for out there, see if I can get the cursor on it, you can see those vehicles. That's probably roughly about 3.30 to 4 o'clock off the uh, right side of the jet. So the uh, first way you could do it, probably not the optimum way to do it, is uh, just take the target pod and try to slew over. The way you can know where you're looking is, most of you guys have figured this out, but the, this is the line of sight cue of the target pod. So this little segmented box is showing where it's looking in relation to the nose of the jet. So right now it's looking at 12 o'clock. Uh, if it was here, it'd be 3 o'clock. 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and so on. And, the di and then the distance from the center all the way to the edge is whether it's looking straight down or to the horizon. So all the way to the edge is basically out on the horizon. About halfway down would be about 45 degrees down. Right here would be 90 degrees straight down. So you can kind of get a relative eye. So as I looked over there, yeah, it's uh, about 3.30 to 4 o'clock, maybe 30, 20 to 30 degrees down. So I'm going to kind of have to guess at how to do that. So I'm basically just going to take command of the pod and try to slew over until this little segmented box is at about the 3.30 to 4 o'clock. And you can see this takes a long time. And meanwhile, we're doing, you know, 500 knots flying along. Pilot's probably going to set up some type of orbit around the, uh, the target. Uh, so there's about that. But you can see it's still kind of guesswork. I'm going to have to search around. And I'm going to have to do kind of a, like a scan pattern looking around for these guys. I can zoom in, zoom out. Still not really seeing a whole lot. Uh, it looked like they were near a road, so I'm going to kind of concentrate around this road. So again, you can kind of see this is not the ideal way to do it. Uh, it's possible. And if you get lucky, you get lucky. Good on you. But dude, I did this in uh, Bosnia a lot before we had even the North Arrow, and it was painful to try to find stuff on the ground. Uh, the better way to do it is, uh, is let the pilot do the work for you. So go, hey, dude, get the, get the, uh, the pot on the, uh, uh, on the thing down there. So what he's going to do, I'll jump in the front seat. And what you're going to see is uh, the pilot uh, is going to do a series of HOTAS commands. So now uh, what I'm looking for is I'll, the first thing I want to do is I want to undesignate the target. So right now we can see we have a designated target. So I'm going to boat aft to make that target go away so uh, I have to be in command of a sensor doesn't really matter which one so let's say I take command of the target pod so I'm going to boat aft now I, I am undesignated and I know that because now I see nav rather than target and then the next thing I'm going to do is take command of the HUD so it's uh, castle in and then press forward now you can see I'm in command of the HUD and then the next trick is to go uh, take command of the HUD a second time so castle in press forward you have to do it a little bit quicker. Let me uh, undesignate again. Castle and press forward. And if I do it twice in a row, you can see now the target pod is going to actually be around the flight path marker velocity vector. We take it off freeze here. And now essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the nose in and try to put that 
uh, target right on the velocity vector. Then once I find it, there's my convoy out in the distance. So I, I'm going to put on freeze here because there's two different ways you can do it now that you have the target pod is now essentially latched to the velocity vector. So what I want to do is I want to do my best to put the velocity vectors precisely on where I want it, want it to be. And I can, I can now latch the target pod onto the ground at that spot in two different ways. I can either go uh, pickle in with the, the pickle button. So I'll do that first. So there's uh, pickle in. Let's go master arm. So there's pickle. And now, I'll put on pause again. Now you can see it creates a designation at the spot. And now the target pod will now stay latched to the diamond, which is really critical. So now what I could do is I could pull off the target. I could uh, set up into a cast wheel and we can investigate whatever this target is. Or if I know that these are bad guys, I could just continue to press in and do a, uh, a target attack with either LGBs through the target pod or, uh, or dumb bombs or whatever ordnance I've got on board. The other way to do it, let me undesignate again. And I'll take command again of the HUD just to cue the target pod back to the velocity vector. And what I want to do, there's a second way to do it. And now I can go TDC in, and that does the same thing. So if I go TDC in and press, notice it does the exact same thing. And eventually, this is work in progress, but eventually the beauty of the TDC in is if you go TDC in and hold, you can then actually slew the diamond left and right, up and down. And then when you release, that will then create the designation on that spot. That's not implemented yet. That will come later. Uh, but that is the, that's the advantage of the, the TDC over the, the pickle button. If you want to drop a bomb on the first pass right away, pickle button's probably the preferable one. If you want to uh, just get the, tar the pod on it and then um, investigate it later, the TDC is probably your, your other option. Either way works the same as long as, you don't, as long as you're not in a weapons parameter to drop the bomb. Uh, so now let's, uh, let's go ahead and come off target and we'll let the Wizzo uh, start investigating this. So we'll jump in the back seat. He'll take command again. And now he's going to slew around and go, oh yeah, holy shit, there's a big column of uh, armored vehicles down there. Let's pick one of these bad guys and, uh, and blow the crap out of it. So he's going to zoom in. He's going to turn the laser on. and designate boom there we are and then now we're basically ready to come back around for a target attack once we get some spacing and do it again the other way to do it is again if you uh, if you know that you're ready to release on the first pass uh you can go ahead and uh be a be a hero so i'm going to go ahead and do that from the front seat so here's a uh Pickle in, or I'm sorry, undesignate. I'm going to take command of the, uh, the HUD again. There's my, uh, my pod is on the velocity vector. Now I'm going to roll in and, uh, and try to put the velocity vector on these guys and get a first pass drop with the uh, target pod. So now, I'm, and I'm going to do this all from the front seat. So again, if you don't have a whistle in the back, uh, you can do this by yourself. So now we're going to go pickle. I'm going to now take command of the target pod. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to refine it. I'm going to pick this tank right there. I'm going to designate. Laser's on. And I'm going to go ahead and get a release. Boom. So that's called a dive toss. Laser's, laser's still on. Looking to impact the schwack. So again, you can do this all very quickly in a uh, in a very short amount of time uh, on a uh, on a first pass. So that's uh, takes a little bit of practice. Uh, it's not hard once you do it once or twice, uh, but it's uh, it's a really powerful way to get the target pot on something. Again, if you want to investigate it for future use, or if you want to go ahead and get your weapons on it right away. Again, if you want to do an LGB, you've got to be relatively quick. So designate, refine it, go ahead and take command of the target pod. Get the bombs off and then lays it to uh, to impact. All right, that's me. That's not so. I'll uh, see you guys soon on some uh, future videos. You guys take care, and we'll uh, talk to you on Discord. See you. Bye.